Hi and welcome to the second episode of The Secret Source of Large OTAs, where I interview top executives of online travel agencies. In this episode, I've interviewed Lisa Chen. I had the honor of interviewing Lisa Chen, who is a top executive at Expedia. She used to be Verbo, and, uh, and this is why she's now the best representative for us property managers uh, within the Expedia group. She makes sure that all our needs are really taken care of uh, within all the brands that Expedia owns. So I had tons of questions for her. We also talked about how to best optimize your listings um, in order to make more bookings on Expedia. So it's well worth listening to this episode, both on podcast and on YouTube. i see you on the other side. Cheers. So hi, thank you so much for doing this interview with me, Lisa. I am um, so honored that you would come on to the secret source of large OTAs. Uh, and you're joining us from where? Uh, Austin, Texas, and from my home office. <laughs> Amazing. Very nice home office. So um, let's, uh, let's launch ourselves straight into it. I wanted to find out, can you please let our listeners, I know what you're doing, obviously, but uh, please let our listeners know uh, what your position is at the Expedia Group, in the Expedia Group, what your responsibilities are, how big your team is, and, uh, and what position did you have before? Because I think that's quite relevant for us. Sure. Yes, I'm happy to. So first of all, let me say I'm, I am equally honored to be here. Um, I'm excited to be here today. Thank you for having me. And I truly wish we could be together in, in person. And I know that will come soon and I look forward to it. Um, so to answer your question, um, I've been at Expedia slash Verbo for the last six and a half years. Um, it goes by very quickly. Um, I actually started, I used to manage the bed and breakfast business. And so it included a dedicated traveler and owner um, a website, a property management system that supported B&Bs. And so indeed, you know, I've morphed from there. And so I am now in a newly created role where I head up lodging, connectivity, and solutions. And so at the core, what we do is we connect. We create and operate the connections that link our platform, Expedia's platform and brands with you and then our mutual customers. And so really this role is, um, it's, it's, while it's new, it's an evolution from how you and I met, which is the work that I did for Verbo specifically. And it's an acknowledgement that Expedia Group sees huge opportunity to super serve the unique needs of professional property managers. We wanna strengthen our relationships, not only with them, but with the connectivity partners like you, like Reynolds United that support those PMs property managers. Hopefully we all know PM as a term, right? My, we have this habit at Expedia to use a lot of acronyms. I'm going to try not to do that, but call me out on it if I do. So um, now that my team and I, um, and it includes all the teams that help support the connections um, and bringing properties live, onboarding them, and I get to ensure that property managers can be successful, not only on Verbo, but across Expedia's other brands like Expedia and Hotels.com. Great, so, so this job, you've had it for how long? Because this, this m matching has been, uh, is quite recent, right? This, that the group is, is looking yeah, at. Yeah, so essentially, yeah. yes, exactly. And so the, the Verbo side was, uh, I started in that role two years ago, and it was essentially bringing the teams together that supported property managers and more specifically integrated property managers, those property managers that rely on software channel managers um, to manage their listings. And now that has morphed. I now brought together the teams that do that, not only for Verbo, but for um, Expedia.com, um, the Expedia brand, as well as Hotels.com and, and, and our other brands. Wonderful, wonderful. Bring vacation rentals to like Expedia overall. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, very good. And so, so tell us a little bit about the Expedia Group. I think most of our customers are familiar with Verbo. Have been working with them for years. But with Expedia Group, who, who are the cost? Who who are your customers um, today? If you were yeah. to describe them, maybe in terms of demographics, budgets. Um, and also what regions are most coveted by the travelers that book on, uh, on Expedia? Yeah, so um, let's start with um, 
the way I like to think about it is what do what does Expedia bring to the table for partners? So um, Expedia Group is a collection of traveler websites. We exist around the world. It includes sites that we've all heard of, Expedia.com, Verbo, um, Hotels.com, Agencia.com, which services corporate travelers, Travago, car rental, we have activities. And so we cover every type of travel. We have over 200 booking sites, if you include the specific languages, in over 70 countries. We work with over 500 airlines, over 175 rental companies, dozens of cruise lines. We represent over 35,000 activities. And we also provide the tech and infrastructure that power other people's websites. So think about your bank or credit card travel portal, the rewards travel portal, or even a hotel or an airline that asks you to book other types of travel on their portal. And so we use that platform, that technology across all of our businesses and brands to learn what people, what travelers want. And so that's why we say we're the world's travel platform uniquely positioned to bring the world within reach for travelers and partners around the globe. Now, that's all well and good, but what's in it for the property manager? Um, and so by having such a global reach yet hyper local footprint and by covering every different type of travel, we capture that traveler demand and that directly benefits our partners. And so brands like Hotels.com, Expedia.com are great to bring tremendous demand for urban destinations. Verbo leads the way in traditional vacation rental destinations. Agencia brings the business traveler. And so through these brands, partners have access to that traveler across all the ways they wanna travel. And it's why I'm so excited about my new role, because it's not just me that gets to talk about vacation rentals. There are actually many of us who started in Verbo and are now taking on even bigger roles across Expedia. And so that way we can ensure that vacation rentals and property manager needs are being considered across the entire portfolio and not just the Verbo brand. So Lisa, thank you for this. And so looking at the crisis, what happened uh, during the crisis uh, that we've just been through? What did you learn as a, as a team and, and as a company? Yeah, I think, um, frankly, we're still learning <laughs> the impact of, the, of this on our industry. Um, and we're certainly not out of the woods yet. But three things, three things stand out. I may reserve the right to add another one, but three things stand out as most important. One is listening, um, having trust in our partners, and focusing on true partnership. Oh, and I do. I have one very important fourth thing, and that is that um, we really are in this together. And so um, in terms of what we learned as a company, going back to those three things, you know, when I think about the previous role I had at Verbo, it was, it was created, quite frankly, because the company made mistakes and it didn't consider property managers' unique needs and some of the past products and policies. And so as an example, property managers have owners and they have contracts with those owners. They can't just turn on a dime. And so we realized how important it was to have a dedicated team to listen to our partners, to learn about their businesses, how they operate, work closely with them, so we could ensure that, that we built the products and programs and policies that worked, that didn't run antithetical to how PMs do business and to help them be successful. And so luckily we built up that muscle ahead of time. And so this crisis certainly has meant that we've flexed that muscle even further. We've got some sore muscles, um, but we have listened to the needs of our property managers where we could, we've responded with things like cancellation support, cleanliness measures, and we've trusted them to do the right thing. And so as an example, we didn't unilaterally force cancellations. We trusted our partners to do right by their travelers. Now that said, we are gonna reward those property managers that are good actors with ranking credit, et cetera. And we'll use traveler feedback to guide that process. And appropriately, if, if there aren't good actors, we will, uh, we will appropriately place them in, in, uh, in that ranking credit as well. And so, and since you asked, I'll just leave with this. Since you asked about what we learned as a team, as well, honestly, we've just learned to connect, to connect in a human way, um, to ask people how they're doing, to give grace, give grace to ourselves, give grace to others, just strive for a common connection, be there to help, and just try to do better each and every day as we learn our way through this. 
Yeah, it's a good point. It was a, yeah, a complete learning curve for everyone. I mean, we've never <laughs> been faced with this before. Um, but beautiful words, um, Lisa. So let's go back to marketing. Um, where is the company investing its marketing dollars right now? Can you answer this? What, and what new features are you launching? Relating to yes, that. and I'm, so thank you. I'm glad you asked about the features because it goes way beyond just marketing dollars. So really the teams at Verbo and Expedia broadly are hyper-focused on fast tracking recovery for partners' businesses and advancing the value of partners' offerings. And so we're doing this in four main ways, product and policies, marketing and merchandising, data insights, and some industry-wide efforts. And so now I'll drill and teach one of those pretty quickly. So in terms of products and policies, it's things like flexible cancellations, extended length of stay. So we've introduced the ability for property managers where possible to accept bookings with a length of stay longer than 32 days, up to 180 days, as well as more flexible cancellation policies and the ability for travelers to initiate a cancellation or change request, streamlining the communications and resolution. It's still in the PM's court, but we've streamlined the communications efforts around it. Um, in addition, we have our own property management software, Escapia, and so we've introduced features on there like a comprehensive cancellation report and then streamlined traveler communication capabilities because we've been hearing a lot from travelers around changes and other questions that they have. For marketing and merchandising, the best thing we can do is to get travelers booking again. And so we've taken steps to better merchandise, safety, cleanliness, cancellation policies, running ads that promote the benefit of VR as vacation rentals, quickly committing marketing investment as we see signs of recovery and demand in, in individual markets. So we've built a, a fast twitch muscle, if you will, around deploying our marketing dollar. And then data and insights. We're focused on coaching PMs how to improve performance, educational materials, webinars, articles that cover traveler trends, and we have those available on our Discovery Hub. And then lastly, we've been heavily focused on industry-wide advocacy and recovery. And so there's two things. One is that we've actually put together a new program called Expedia Group Academy, and it's an educational program designed to bring new skills specifically to furloughed travel industry workers and other small lodging partners that just want to up-level their skills. And we're kicking that off in June. And if partners are interested, they can learn more on our LinkedIn group page. And then lastly, but most importantly, is government relations. And this is where like my heartstrings have been tugged because I've loved to see how quickly the vacation industry or vacation rental industry has come together. We've been working in partnership with folks like you and industry social associations like VRMA and other partners. And so there were so many destinations that were either impacted by restrictions um, or we needed to ensure that they were part of um, government programs like in US, the CARES Act. And so we've been working nonstop with local officials and partners to ensure that short-term rentals are considered. And so when I said earlier that we're all in this together, I saw this firsthand. And it made me so proud to be part of the vacation rental community. And so as an example with the CARES Act, in less than 72 hours, Verbo Partners sent in 25,000 emails to US congressional leaders. And with that overwhelming support, we were able to be uh, successful in ensuring that vacation rental companies were included in the CARES Act. Wow, that's incredible. Thanks for your support, that's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I didn't know about this, so okay, that's a great piece of news. Um, and tell me, I want to pick on one thing because it actually leads me to the next question. You said that you're increasing the number of nights that can be booked to 180 days. And, uh, and so as a result, is that something that you see as a trend when it comes to vacation rentals? Do you see like longer term bookings? And, um, and also, there's another trend that we saw all around and that many people speak about is, is domestic travel, right, as borders are closed. Um, so, yes, if you could tell us about these, these two trends, that would be amazing. Absolutely. Now we get to the fun stuff, which is that <laughs> how cool is it that vacation rentals are leading out of the gate 
in terms of travel recovery. It has been so awesome to see. And I'm teaching my son, who's three and a half, the world awesome. And I truly do mean it in this sense, because we tend to use it a lot. It really has been wonderful to see Vacation Rentals leave. And so, yeah, um, you know, it's interesting. I'm having lots of friends uh, with, with uh, or conversations with friends and family. And it's interesting because some who, some are considering vacation rentals for the first time because they want to minimize the contact they have. They want to stay somewhere local, somewhere they can drive to, and then yet somewhere where they can have room to run around outside, somewhere that isn't their own house. They're like, it, it could be any house. I just don't want it to be my own house or apartment. Others are in, in fact looking for those last minute bookings. And so as they feel comfortable or as areas are opening up um, where they would normally book in advance, they're booking you know, at the last minute. And yet others, like you pointed out, are looking for longer stays. And so by golly, we're seeing that play out in our own data. And so Expedia search data shows that there is an average gain of 20% week over week for domestic travelers, which you've highlighted, who searched for the last month of July. And then according to other travel analyst groups, 40% of consumers plan to book an accommodation, whether it's a hotel or VR, within the next three months. And then VRMA itself came out with an email that showed a 20% increase versus last year, which was a good year, um, over bookings made between mid-May and mid-June. And so this is exactly what we see. We see drive to destinations popping within, you know, 500 miles of origin. We see an appetite for less dense areas where people can get space. So think beaches, mountains, lakes, nature. Uh, we see shorter booking windows. And then obviously we see a preference for more flexible cancellation policies because things are changing every day. Now that said, we're also seeing that travelers are still skittish. They need to feel safe. And so guests are, for example, uh, we, we surveyed and over 50% expect to have uh, disinfectants, things like hand sanitizers on property. Yes, um, that's good to know. I think that's a trend everywhere, yes. More safety. Um, yeah. And in fact, it, since you know so much about the traveler that books on, on Expedia, maybe you could tell us, and I think that's the juiciest question of all, um, how would you advise managers to, to now, you know, really optimize their listings so they can get the most out of, out of Expedia? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I've been doing, I, I think about what I do, what I've been going through personally uh, during this pandemic and during, you know, this, this notion of living at home, all the time. <laughs> I've been organizing myself, I, my house. I love to organize. And so like my house is now like hyper organized. Any store that has like containers and bins loves me right now. Um, I've been clearing out clutter. I've been making improvements like home automation, like light switches and things like that. Exercising more, getting in shape. Um, haven't gotten into the baking and the sourdough starters. But when I think about these things, um, they also apply to PMs. And so it's about cleaning and organizing your house and listings, both figuratively and literally. So let's go back to the traveler mindset. They are desperate to travel. They are desperate to get out of their house, their apartment, where they've been locked up. But safety matters so much. So first and foremost, it's about making sure your cleanliness measures are clearly and cleanly pardon the pun, laid out for travelers to build their confidence in booking your property. Show, so not only should it be in your attributes and, and in your FAQs, but show photos. Show a photo of a hand sanitizer bottle on the kitchen or, or show photos of cleaners wearing gloves and masks as they you know, shake out the beds or what have you. Try to avoid cancellations, provide credit, allow future date stays, but if, if at all possible, try to avoid cancellations. Um, and then some of these other things, frankly, are evergreen. And they're just about you know, making sure your listings are healthy. Um, and that is response to inquiries in less than 24 hours. We know that 50% of um, vacation rental seekers will look elsewhere if they don't hear back from a property manager within a day. Make sure listings are absolutely prepped and prime. Photos are top quality, descriptions, amenities, add virtual tours, update your photos so that travelers dreaming of their next trip um, pick your property. 
And then lastly, um, call us, talk to us. We're human. <laughs> we are people that love this industry and we're here for you. We're here for PMs. This is a partnership. We are all in this together. And so together we'll come out of this even stronger. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much. So, so nice to hear you talk uh, with all your passion for the industry as well. Thanks so much. It's there. Yes, <laughs> yes. You could read. I'm just myself. Does yeah. it come across? <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> we'll get to Lisbon. Don't worry, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, thanks so much. It was most interesting. I won't take any more of your time. I know you're very busy. So thanks again and um, see you next time. <laughs> all right. See you next time. Definitely. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers, Lisa. Right, Thanks. Thank Cheers. Bye-bye.